We got to Baltimore in the evening at 6 p.m. and went straight to Mason's famous lobster rolls for a quick bite before our 8 p.m. magic showing. I absolutely loved this show. It was super entertaining and funny. And Spencer, our magician, did a great job at engaging with the guests. He was in the quarterfinals of America's Got Talent, and he even spent an extra hour at the end telling us all about his experiences. We picked up some nachos and tacos on our way back and finished out the night with some Netflix. The next morning, we went straight to Fells Point neighborhood in Baltimore and walked through this cute farmer's market. We had these delicious tiny donuts, which were super fluffy, light, crispy, and came with unlimited toppings. Afterward, we went souvenir shopping and passed by the shop to sell seasoned olive oil along with several other items made right in Maryland. We finally got to a place that I was waiting to go to, Blue Moon Cafe. The brunch spot has a lot of bright and funky artwork inside and my crab omelette was stuffed to the brim with crab. Highly recommend this place, but the wait can be long, so make sure to come early. Even though we were so full from brunch already, we walked to a French pastry shop nearby to pick up some macarons to have for later. Afterward, we went to the National Aquarium, which was one of the parts of this trip that I was most looking forward to. They have a magnificent display of sharks where you're literally surrounded by four floors of them at one point. For dinner, we made reservations to go to Thames Street Oyster House to try out their amazing selection of oysters and lobster rolls. To end up the long day, I decided to go with a nice and relaxing skincare routine from Madico's Beauty. If you know me, you know that I love a good skincare routine, and this set by Madico's Beauty was perfect for that. The Jade Roller is perfect for reducing puffiness in your face, and I absolutely love the cool feeling on my face. Next, I indulge with their 24 karat gold eye and forehead patches that are infused with vitamin C, hyaluronic acid, and rose essence. Basically, everything that you would want on your face. My skin was glowing after and it felt so moisturized and soft. For the last step, I tried out their lip mask and scrub. This was my first time using a lip mask and I've got to say my lips have never felt so supple and soft. Even the next day, without using a lip balm, my lips were not chapped and my lips are usually very chapped. On our last day, we visited the famous LP Steamers because it isn't a Baltimore, Maryland trip without trying some of the crabs. They gave us each a mallet and we went at it. We also visited Fort McHenry National Park. Some of the exhibits were closed due to COVID, but regardless, it was super cool to see the cannons and walk amongst the field. Lastly, we paid a visit to Sycamore Spirit Distillery. They have whiskey tastings here, a bar, and it's an absolute must visit. I know it must seem like we've done nothing but eat, but our food journey continued. We went to Rusty Scupper. They have amazing views of the waterfront, as well as some delicious seafood dishes. 
And that marks the end of this video. Please don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you all in the next one.